at Krasnoyarsk in Siberia, Al Jazeera catches a ride for rare access to a service with very literal lifeline credentials. Our main mission is giving medical help to the remote areas on the Krasnoyarsk railway and in the Krasnoyarsk region. Russia has five such hospital trains, each taking medical care on ten two-week journeys a year through forest, tundra and swamp, through mosquito whining summer and crystal cold winter. They provide x-rays, rapid blood testing and many other crucial diagnostic and clinical care services for free. I'm going to take my daughter to the pediatrician. It's very convenient because we're quite remote. Our regional hospitals are far away. Here the doctors come almost to our houses. Otherwise we'd have to go 500 kilometers by bus. When you come back you're exhausted, having spent a lot of money and nerves. After that trip I'm in bed for 24 hours. Well, we've just stopped at a village called Palutornik. Because the route changes for every trip, the train will only make a visit here once a year. That may not sound very frequent, but it's actually pretty impressive medical care for a place with no paved roads, and the nearest gas station is 140 kilometers away. The 17 doctors on board are employed by Russia's national rail company, RGD. They work exclusively on the train. I miss the train when I'm not on a trip. We have spare time. We have excursions. It's also interesting because we are going to hike in the mountains. Maybe they'll take us on a trip to some lakes. The train also has a church wagon and priest. Orthodox Christianity is resurgent in Russia. Souls in the wilderness, it's felt, should not be neglected. Then it's all aboard and on to the next stop in this 1,300 kilometer medical mission. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Central Siberia.